Welcome back to another figure review. In this review, we're going to look at the new Halo Infinite Series Warthog with Master Chief. This is done in a 118 scale figures and vehicles. So here's the front of the box. The box is quite large. <clears throat> Halo here in the top left. Some wording here, additional figures are sold separately. Blasting effects are simulated. It's a picture of the really cool looking Warthog. Master Chief driving. And another character using the chain gun. Here's Master Chief in the box. Warthog with Master Chief nameplate. These are for ages 8 and above. And there's only one set. Top of the box. Halo, Warthog, Master Chief nameplate, and here it says New World of Halo Scale, Swiveling Heavy Chain Gun Turned, fits up to three World of, world of Halo Scale Halo figures, or any other 118 scale figures that you may collect. On the box just has Halo, outside of the box here just has Halo and the nameplate. And same thing on this side has the logo there, and this side has the UNSC on it. Back of the box, <clears throat> basically is the same as the other packaging for the figures. It's just Master Chief running. Some product information. There is a UBC code if you want to call Target. If you are currently looking for these. Give them that number. Here we can see if they have it in stock. Okay. Let's go ahead and take this guy out of the box. See what we got. Piece of tape on our side. Thing on the Mac, it looks pretty cool. If I can get it out of the box, it's stuck. Yeah. Okay, now we have some room. Here's Master Chief inside his clamshell. You get this piece of insert. It looks like the instructions are pretty simple. Let's pop on the tires. Insert the antenna in the chain gun turret. Nothing on the back. This is how it comes. You have your four tires and you have your rock. What I noticed right out of the box is very cool. Is that these are painted on the the logos and um Stripes are all painted on. They're on stickers, which is great. Very nice looking. And I've seen something else fall on the side here. It is like a baggie of gas tanks and antenna and something else in there, which we'll take a look at. Piece of cardboard, nothing inside, just to help keep the box from caving in on the actual vehicle. Look at that, no ties, yay! Just sitting in there. Let's take a look at this bad boy. Very nice. Some weathering detail in there. Nice paint. Oh, look at the consoles. Actually painted. I must make you think they have a working console there. Nice logo here. Very nice quality plastic. We have 
a chain. Nope, that's actually just sculpted one there. Can't retract it. Some hooks. Very nice striping. There's another logo. And this bar here, which is on both sides. Handle, so your troops can hold on. Very cool. So this is where the gas tanks will probably go here and here. This isn't as, as deep as I thought it would be on the uh, on the bed of the vehicle. Look at inside that; it is so well detailed. Painted blue screens, red buttons, gear shift here. Nice paint here. Very awesome. Look at the sculpt work for the shocks. Wow. Now this is done by Wicked Cool Toys, which is also Jazzware. This is phenomenal looking sculpt. Now, of course, a little bit of paint would have made that look tremendously awesome. And the sculpt work on that is nice. Very impressed. Back of it. No moving parts there. Oh, that's cool. Okay, let's take a look. Oops. The tires. Oh wow. It has rubber tires. Check out the rubber tires. These are heavy. Wow. Feels like a stone. Very heavy duty. Very hard rubber. And there are four of those. Of course, but who knows? And according to the instructions, all we have to do is push them on. It rolls like a champ. Simple push on, it stays on. That was tight. Tire. Look, I actually rolls with three tires. Oh, this is nice. Wow. There he is. Tires. Solid piece, very solid, very well made. Rolls very well. I'm barely even pushing it. Very cool. Let's take a look at the uh, other piece we have in here. This piece is actually the chain gun turn and it is held in by a tie back. If I can find it. Uh, is that like a let's go see if we can hack that off. Hey, easy. So this is the turn, get the gun pointing upward. This looks to be a 
articulate it. Yep, we can articulate it. Like that much to that much. It doesn't depress any more than that. Let's bring in the Warthog. And this doesn't seem to clip in. It looks like it just sits in there. Then has these parts to keep it tight. Oh yeah, it's nice and tight. Very stiff. So I'd be careful that maybe if, if more you would turn it side to side, you probably wear that out and that plastic out over time, and uh, your cannon will become loose or even fall off if you have if they have that much play on it. But here is the cannon and the warthog. That is so cool. Try to decide. Got some nice detailed looks. Oh, I highly recommend this already. Highly recommend it. Okay, let's go take a look at the back here because that's where we're going to focus on next with this baggie. Okay, inside the baggie we have. It looks like maybe the shells for the chain gun. There is nowhere on the instructions to show you how this is assembled. So I'm assuming that it goes right here. So the smaller piece goes here. And this larger piece will go up here. Very easy pushed in. Some good quality softer rubber. Oh, let's see if I can get that in. Oh yeah. It's a little stiff, but it's definitely gonna stay in there. It's not gonna fall out. Let's put that back. There we go. Look at that. That looks cool. Too bad there's one painted. But I'm not complaining. I thought, what we all, what we get for this thing? Antenna. Goes right here. Very nice. on the back of this thing so you get let's see here you get three of the same type gas tanks so you get this one you get three of these they have a hole here to mount them so here's two and three and these go which this is cool. I kind of like how these sit right in here. Let's do this one first. See how they sit at an angle? That's awesome. Really cool. So there's two. They just simply push on. What I like about these for the price. They're not hollow or beveled out on one side, so you know, three sides are all plastic and there's no covering. They're actually solid piece, just a little bit of holes. Uh, so give or take on that, I guess. But this one will go right here. See so you all geared up and fueled for battle. I just look at the detailing on this thing, just at that angle. All this gas tank, the paint, the, the uh, chain gun, and then down to those consoles. Man, this is awesome. 
guess if you're going to army build on any kind of vehicle, this would be the one to do it. Let's take a look at Master Chief. Let's see here. Don't look like there's anything holding Master Chief in there. Out. Oh, he's a gun belt too. One shot. Nice. Nothing in there. Let's see if we can get his foot to. Oh, yeah. His foot to move so we can stand him up a little bit. Okay. Nice, not bad figure, not bad at all. Now he's a 118 scale, but he's a tall guy. Now, from my research, I think I've seen a he's like seven foot tall and a thousand pounds with his armor on. If you Google Master Chief's height, that's what I came up with. And they said he's actually six point six foot eight inches tall without his armor and 287 pounds. So this armor weighs a ton when this guy's carrying it around. See a pig hole here, probably for his gun. Yep. Articulation, he has head turns that far because of his inclining maybe it's a jetpack that far up down well he does look down a good bit that's cool he has a chest articulation swivel and a little crunch arms are on a ball joint very tight they go up that far because of the armor and go 360 on both sides he does have bendable elbows which will get you uh, we'll go just not almost 90 these two go out on top far because of these plates and in He has wrist articulation, that's cool. Down, up, up, and this one is the same. But it's tight, because it's new. Up, down, nice. Then we have, he will sit like a champ. Look at that, ho ho ho, very nice. He has a swivel on the legs. He looks like he might have. Oh, is this ratcheted maybe? Very stiff. Oh, look at that double jointed knees. <sighs> so cool. And his foot does pivot back and forth. As you see, it's very tight. I'm not going to mess with it too much more. But you see me straighten it out whenever I get out of the package. They do go side to side. And they go back and forth. But I'm not going to mess with it too much. Here's his gun. The gun is a it's stiffy, softer, prostic. Not too bad. And then we have... Oh, let's see. Get some large hands. I'm not sure how this is going to work. Guess you got to do that way. Here he is with his gun. Not too fond of the guns with these figures so far. Not sure how you could upgrade them to it. Maybe check Marauders and see what they got. This guy's a beast, too. So 
So here he is with a commando. Look at the size difference in this guy. Now this is 118 scale. This is a 118 scale figure, and this is supposed to be a 118 scale figure. So if he's to scale, this is kind of looking at like Han and Chewbacca type deal. Wow. You don't want Master Master Chief. He's a boss. Here's a pilot from the same series. Looking great. I don't know about the scale. That's why I did the research because I seen the figures were actually taller than here. The basic figures. There is a Master Chief individual one that you can buy. It's the same figure though. But he is definitely a towering figure. I'm not sure. I mean, I can get it if he is actually supposed to be that way. And if he is really in scale. He is a boss. Because of his armor. I mean, his armor is seven foot tall. This guy's probably, you know, say six foot. Is that about what it would look like if he was seven, another foot. It's kind of like Andre the Giant versus one of the basic wrestlers. Okay, let's see if we get this guy back on his peg. I guess not. So let's see what he looks like. Bring in the Warthog. One thing about these, I think you have to pinch your legs a little bit. But he fits in there very nicely. He's a big guy, too. And if you get him in there, I mean, you can get any G.I. Joe's or whatever you want to cross. These are perfect for Joy Toy. If you guys are in a Joy Toy. There he is inside there. Let's get him some company just for the, to see. So let's bring in Crankcase from the new Retro Line G.I. Joe. Because he'll sit pretty good. Look at that. It was nice. Come on, Hasbro. You got to get with it, man. Very cool. I mean, that's perfect. I, mean, I can see why my head would stick out like that because he's a big dude. Get him out of for a second. Take a look at. He does have two pig holes, and there is a pig hole back here. So if we can get that to fit. Very really difficult. Very stiff. It fits. This must achieve. I'm not sure how well he's sitting on that pig. I don't want to push too hard on it for axles. Well, Crankcase sits kind of further back. I mean, to reach the stem well, he'd probably sit forward some. But pretty nice okay, here is the trooper so uh, he looks in there Let's 
see if I can grab one of these uh, Jortway figures and see how they fit. If you just bear with me for a second, we're gonna take a look and see how well. Let's see which one I got here. Color match on this guy. Here's my Force Recon guys. I mean, look at that color match. That's crazy. Look, that crazy looks good. And that's awesome. Definitely something I want with some more of these guys. Army build for troopers. And look at the color match. That's insane. I'm just trying to think if you guys want army built vehicles for your troops, man, this is the vehicle to do it. This guy's. See that maybe their pistol holders are going to be an issue with getting these guys in there. But I guess maybe if I mess with it a little bit more, I probably can get them to sit better. And maybe some other different style figures. But I mean, just a little on these guys are. I can't get over the color. You know what, those guys would be a sniping. Taking out some aircraft, drones, while on the run. Very awesome. Oh, Master Chief is down. So here's a Force Recon Joy Toy figure, which is one of my favorite sets. And here's one of Hasbro's attempt. I said attempt on a better crankcase. Still not perfect. Here is Master Chief. He does look better with the Joy Toy figures. He scales really nice. His head's up to his shoulder. Versus this guy. He's a short little man. He's even shorter than the uh, Joy Toy figures. Let's get him out of the way for a second. Oh, yeah. These are some smaller troopers. Get me for your tunnel rats. Get them out of his sewers. All right. Well, there it is. Um, these things are available at Target. And I'll tell you what, the price point is what's really interesting. These only cost $29.99. And you get all that. Let's get these guys out of the way for our final thoughts. $29.99, you're getting this pretty nice Master Chief figure and a weapon. And that amazing Warthog figure vehicle. I mean, the detail, what you're getting for $30 is something you wouldn't get for $50 from Hasbro. I mean, the R Striker with crankcase is $25 bucks at Walmart. And you don't even get the level of detail. And the size comparison is totally different. This thing's bigger than the, obviously, than a. Striker and the level of detail 
not only on the figure, but on this vehicle is incredible. The playability is off the charts. You could use this for any line. I could just show you the Joy Toy. I'm definitely thinking about picking semis up for maybe my Joy Toy Armed Forces, U.S. Armed Forces, like maybe your Marines. My Force Recon, I just showed you one of those guys. But I don't want this video to be too much longer for me to dig out a whole bunch of other figures. If you have those figures, this is awesome. Now the suspension doesn't work on this, it's just for, it's all plastic and sculpted. Let me roll this, because of the big old knobby tires, this thing does vibrate a little bit if you do it slowly. Alright, well there it is. I highly recommend this. Check your local Target. And uh, happy hunting if you're interested in finding this vehicle. Well worth the price. Perfect army build. If you think about it, you probably could even sell If you don't want a bunch of Master Chiefs, you could probably sell your figure for 10 bucks. That's what the figures retail at. If you sell your figure, then you bring your vehicle down to 20 bucks, And that's amazing. So, happy hunting. Hope you find this figure and this vehicle if you're looking for it. And uh, if you like this video, uh, go ahead and please subscribe. It help me out. And uh, I always want to take the time to thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And happy hunting, and I'll see you in the next video.